Hello guys and welcome back to Persona 3 Reload. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and stopped a train from crashing into another train because a shadow was controlling it during the dark hour. And we finished up our first month here, and we got past our first real full moon. I mean, we had one for the tutorial way back in May, or way back in April, sorry, but now that we're in May, we've got the first full moon down, and we're ready to move on. Uh, one thing that I do want to mention right now is something that is brought up a lot when discussing differences between uh, Persona 3 Original and Persona 3 Reload, is that the brightness setting is a lot brighter than it normally is in the previous game, and originally I was like, I don't see any real differences, or like, it's not really that distracting to me. And then I looked back on the footage that I recorded, and maybe it's just because it went through like OBS and stuff like that, and that somehow made it brighter, but it did look a lot brighter to me. So let me go ahead and go to my system real quick and just show you what it would be like if I turned down the brightness a little bit. It looks something like this. I might want it to be a bit brighter. Something like this. Let me see what it looks like when I look at the town map. Let's try going to Polonia Mall. It would look something like this. It's a bit too dark for my taste. Um, but let me know in the comments if you'd like me to turn it down like one or two notches. So yeah, I'll keep it at default for now and then let me know if you want me to change it later. Let me head back to the dormitory real quick just because I saw that some people did have some uh, dialogue there, so I want to check that out. Another thing that I quickly want to address is that I'm going to be making these videos longer because I usually record for about 20 minutes and then edit it a little bit. Uh, but usually my videos would stay around like the 20 minute mark, but looking back I realized that The way that I'm editing these videos is I'm editing them down a lot more So they'd be closer to like 15 16 minutes So I'll try recording for 30 minutes and then hopefully once I edit them down They'll be closer to like 20 25 minutes. Well done yesterday. Also, sorry If I had gone you never would have been exposed to such danger, but uh, It's frustrating but there's nothing I can do now but bear it. I'll definitely be back within the month, though. It was my own incompetence during the operation that led to a difficult situation. I'm sorry. No need to apologize. <laughs> That's very kind of you. But even if you forgive me, I don't think I can forgive myself. Should another situation like this arise in the future, I promise I will be stronger by then. A lot of people are beating themselves up over this. I thought we went decently well. I mean, yeah, there was a bit of danger there at the very end, but... I'm cool, so I stopped it in time. I can't believe I'm still alive. If you weren't there, I'd definitely be dead. So, thanks. The people on the monorail must have been pretty freaked out. It was so far off course after the dark hour ended. Actually, freaked out probably doesn't even begin to describe it. Oh man, I seriously thought we were goners yesterday. But you saved our ass when you pulled that brake. I'm so glad you were there, dude. It's so good to be alive. Hell yeah, it is. Anyways, it's been a little bit since I recorded the last video, so... What do we have? Do we have... We can level up Maya a bit more, since it's a Sunday. I do want to level up Bunkichi and Mitsuko a little bit later, because there is a social link that we can access through them. But for now, let's level up Maya a bit more. Just because I'm feeling like it. Do we have a Hermit Persona on us at the moment? Yes, we do, so... Let's get back to some online gaming. I'm in Shinagawa Dungeon. I see Maya. Whoa, did you just get here? We signed on at the same time. The weather's nice today, huh? Let's go outside. In game, duh. Tristo! Shinagawa. A gray colored sky stretches as far as the eye can see. A barren wasteland lies before Tatsuya and Maya. Maya is stretching. For an apocalypse, the air sure is nice out here. Yeah, right. It's just a game. We should go level or something. I'm so lazy IRL, Tatsu. I haven't even gotten dressed or put on makeup. Interesting thing about uh, her calling us Tatsu is that in the official localization of Persona 2 Innocent Sin, Tatsuya's nickname is Tachan, but in the fan translation, uh, Tatsuya is called Tatsu as a nickname. So just a bit of interesting trivia there. Maya stands at attention. Ah, I'm so pissed off right now. Mr. E is such a stupid SOB. The best option here is to say, do you mean SOB? Mm -hmm. 
Yes, you get it. Woo! Tatsuya and Maya for the win. We must be soulmates, yeah? High five. Maya seems very happy. Maya's looking around. And there aren't any more players anymore. Most of them left that new MMO, COW. That's probably a reference to something. There were a lot of dupers and gold farmers, but still. It's good though, because it lets us talk about personal things, right? Maya is a shy girl, you know. Blush, lol. See, Mr. E is a teacher who cut who's kind of above me. Oh no, can you figure out what my job is? Can you? Uh, the best option here is to say, are you a teacher? Also, Maya being a reporter is a reference to Persona 2. Yeah, you're smart. I knew you'd figure it out. You get an A-plus for reading comprehension today, lol. Maya seems happy. Well, now you know I'm a teacher. Hey, I just figured something out. When I complain to you, I feel better afterwards. From now on, we have to party up together, okay? Promise! Seems Maya feels comfortable talking to me about real life. I feel like we're growing closer. That is gross, though, that... Because Maya has feelings for us as Tatsuya. And so it's gross because we're a student and she's a teacher. Yeah. I'm so pumped I think I'll clean the bathroom. It's been two months. Maya's player is signed off. Maya signed back on. Don't tell anyone about that SOB stuff, okay? It's our little secret. Maya's player signed off. I decided to log out as well. Hello, this is Elizabeth speaking. I would appreciate it if you could come to the Velvet Room. There is a matter I would like to discuss with you. Goodbye now. Elizabeth is waiting for me at the Velvet Room. I wonder what she wants to talk about. I guess I should head to Polonia Mall. I'll head to the entrance of the Velvet Room. So yeah, uh, Elizabeth actually has some extra stuff for us to do here. And uh, we're going to get to that in just a second. She's actually standing right outside the Velvet Room right now. And this is actually something we're going to spend a lot of time on because it'll allow us to get closer to what's kind of a social link, but technically not. I apologize for asking you to come at such short notice. Truth be told, I'd like to ask you a favor. I've been searching for someone of exceptional ability. So if you have the time, do you mind taking on several of my requests? On special occasions, I may require you to escort me on certain excursions. Of course, you will be aptly rewarded for completing the request. I look forward to your cooperation, and hope to see you demonstrate your capability. I can accept Elizabeth's requests now. So yeah, we now have side quests available. What you have to do is go ahead and take a look. Are you accepting a request? So yeah, now we can go through all of these different quests here. Um, we already have one. If the status says report and has a little exclamation mark, go ahead and click on it because that means you beat it. Oh, it appears you have already completed it. Here, take this as your reward. 10,000 yen. Not too shabby. Anyways, we have all this other stuff here. What you want to go ahead and do is you can sort by number, first of all, or sort by um, status, which is just uh, this. So yeah, I'll go ahead and sort by number, and then you want to just accept all of them. Please bring me this beverage you call a muscle drink. It is not particularly rare. It is not a particularly rare commodity, so you should be able to find it and purchase it with ease. By all means, I will await a so yeah, just accept them all. Have you ever had your fortune told, Yuki? You can. It seems you can find a famous fortune teller in the club at Polonia oh Mall. My. Rumor says that for every question you ask, you shall receive an answer that is right on the money. I am greatly interested in the accuracy of this fortune telling. Would you please use this person's services so that I may verify the authenticity authenticity of them? Please ask them to predict whether or not rare shadows will appear more often. Truth be told, my love for soybean powder is rivaled by none. I hear something called pine resin looks just like my, my beloved soybean powder. I've also heard that it is used as a tool in archery. Do you know anything about it? So yeah, now we just accept all of these different side quests. And by doing extra side quests, you unlock some new stuff that we're going to get to in just a second. In the original Persona 3, you could only accept three at a time. Uh, but thankfully, you can just accept all of them immediately when you're doing this. Also, I'm pretty sure quests were 
uh, or just for getting the items that you get from getting the quest. Um, but there's actually something secret that you unlock unlock for doing a certain number of side quests. So we'll get to that in a second. All right, side quest number one. The first thing that you need to do. I'd like to inform you. There's been a recent change in Tartarus. It seems that a path that has been blocked off is now open. Oh, uh, forget what I was about to say. Uh, Tartarus, we can now go through. We could go through the wall that was previously blocking us off. So we can reach a new area, which we'll get to in just a second. It seems that a path that has been blocked off is now open. I wish you a safe journey. Elizabeth said that previously blocked. Should go check it out in Tartarus. All right, but for now, we're going to go ahead and do some side questing. So first of all, go to Aohige Pharmacy. Here you want to go ahead and buy a muscle drink for a thousand yen. That's pretty much all you need to do for this side quest. And as you'll see with the blue exclamation mark above Elizabeth's head, it seems you've completed a request. One moment, please, while I check. Oh, is that perhaps a muscle drink? Though it looks delicious, it seems toxic at the same time. Thank you for bringing me this. I will slowly savor each sip later on. Please take this as your reward. You get five soul drops. Nice SP item. Um, a beef bowl. Uh, that's actually something that I bought previously. I forgot that this was something that I could do for a quest. So let's go ahead and just oh report that. Oh, it seems you've already completed this request. One moment, please, while I check. So this is the famous Umiushi beef bowl. The aroma truly whets the appetite. Well now then, bon appetit. My, how delicious. Something this delectable must have cost a fortune. Oh it didn't? Then I must applaud this corporation's efforts to sell such quality food for cheap. Please take this as your reward. Okay, we got a new outfit that we can wear during Tartarus, which is something I'll get to when we actually get around to going to Tartarus. It's pretty simple, it's basically what it sounds like. We can wear new outfits. Okay, Shadow Hunting Milestone is something that we'll do in Tartarus. Treasure Hunting Milestone is something that we'll do in Tartarus. The world you live in is so bright and colorful. Cool, Elizabeth. We won't be able to do this right now because we're not level 13. At least I'm pretty sure we're not. Uh, Juzumaro is something that we need to get in Tartarus. Uh, fortune telling is something that we'll do in Tartarus. Oh, yes. Buying drinks, though, is something we could do right away. I understand that there exists a machine in your world that automatically dispenses all kinds of beverages. What a strange contraption, is it not? Though I must admit that I have particular interest in these beverages. Could you gather some for me? Of course, whatever you can get your hands on shall suffice. So now we're going to focus on getting those drinks. Anyways, you'll remember that there were vending machines all around uh, Tatsumi Port Island that we can get stuff from. So buy at least one of each soda from the vending machines. We should have all of the sodas now. We might be missing one. Uh, new dialogue here as well as Yukari helping us out with a quest. We'll talk to her last. You know how shadows come up and attack whenever they see us, but once we see that we're, we're but once they see that we're way stronger than them, they'll try running away. Every time we catch up to them, they look like they got the bejesus scared out of them at the start of a battle. I kind of feel bad for them, but oh well, lucky us. True. It's fine to take a breather every so often, but don't forget about Tartarus. Although it wouldn't be too late if you wait until after I return. I'll leave that up to you. I don't mind if you go without me, but I definitely appreciate my opportunity to show my stuff. What a difficult mission. I can't believe what you happened to you all. Luckily, no one was hurt. By the way, it would seem that last night's incident with the monorail has been publicized. A brake failure, they're calling it. Quite a serious malfunction, wouldn't you say? <laughs> I don't even think there's a pun in there. Huh? Hmm? What's up? Come to think of it, Elizabeth asked me to get a specific item for her. If you'll remember, Yukari is in the archery club. Huh? You're looking for pine resin? Why do I have something like that on me? Oh, do you mean the powder we use on the archery team? The yellow stuff? We use it during practice, so it runs out pretty quickly. Let me check if I still have any left. Yeah, we got some. Found some, here you go. It can get sticky if you use too much all at once, so go easy on it. Something I can assist you with. Can I hand over the drinks? I shall be waiting then. Gathered six. Oh, okay, I know what I'm missing there. Okay, I know what I'm missing there. I'll come back to that in just a little bit. It seems you've completed a request. One moment, please, while I check. Oh, is that soybean powder you have there? Ah, no, it must be the pine resin I requested. It really does resemble soybean powder. It's so similar that even an expert on soybean powder such as myself can't tell the difference. Now then, your reward for this request will be soybean powder. Do enjoy. 
Apologies, I was just using soybean powder to garnish a dish not too long ago, so please take this as your reward. Toy bow. I don't know how good that is as a thing. Do you know of a device called a handheld game console? I would like you to bring me one. Rumor says that it's a very dangerous item, but there are also many who love it. It is truly a mysterious device. Please be careful when handling it. If we head back over to the student dormitory now... Now Junpei can help us out with a quest. Mm -hmm. Yo, what's up? Come to think of it a little bit, ask me. It? Oh, you're looking for a handheld game console? Are you looking for on? Are you hooked on games now? Is it because the game I gave you last time, huh? I can give you my old one if you're cool with it. Lately, I've been only using the newer, slimmer model. No point using two of the same consoles, anyway. Hold on, let me grab it for you. No. Here you go. Let's play a match one day. I'll take you on any time. Is that a handheld game console? I heard that these have special mechanisms that make the player forget about the passage of time. Though it doesn't seem to be particularly special at first glance. Perhaps the device shoots out some kind of ray when the power is turned on, and your memory get- Apologies, but I must pass this time. Thank you for bringing me, me one, but you can have it back. Please take this as your reward. And we got a new vest. Alright, so most of our other quests are in Tartarus. And we also have that one about the different sodas. Uh, recently we got to, um, where is it? We got to rank 2 on Courage, meaning we can go into Escapade now. I can sense an air of maturity through a slightly ajar door. I plucked up my Courage and stepped into the club. New head cannon. Uh, Escapade is a very uh, crappy club, so to make it look like they have customers, they just placed mannequins around here. Just to make it look like they have customers, and then we have like three people in here, or like four people in here that just don't notice. And so they're just like, hell yeah, this is an awesome club. Now that's happening nowadays, I guess that's what peace means. Well, how about you? Anything dramatic happening in your life? Yeah. I see. Sounds tough. Well, good luck with whatever it is. Huh? Can I help you? I don't think I've seen you here before. Yeah, that's right. There's a fortune teller club in this club. Everyone calls her Den Mother or Mama. I heard if she tells your fortune, there's no getting a second opinion. What she tells you will come true. Why don't you go visit her? I didn't know she was a fortune teller. I guess she does look weird sitting all there all by herself. A fortune teller, huh? So yeah, that's talking about this lady right here, and she does relate to a quest um, that we'll get to in just a second. Hey, hey what do you have? Uh, wait a minute, aren't you a little too young to be in here? Well, I guess you could stay if you don't cause any trouble. We have an area back here that's just for uh, bathrooms, and then this unknown door right here. Maybe we'll get to that one day. Welcome. Welcome, if you want to make an impression, accessorizing is a must. So, I want to press the products here. Look at this stuff! 16,000, 100,000, 200,000, and 500,000. We are never buying anything from here. Except maybe one thing, but it'll be a bit cheaper than all the rest of this stuff. Anyways, there's two people here that I want to talk to. Uh, first of all, there's this guy. Suspicious man. Hmm. This is certainly a fascinating forum. Hmm? Are you interested in the dark web too? I collect information from various people about interesting sites and forums. If you want, I can sell you some info. Top secret stuff, even. So this is the guy that Junpei talked about a few episodes back about uh, the guy who sells URLs. Thankfully, they're very cheap. We have um, this uh, message board about uh, rumors in Iwatodai. This will actually help us complete a quest with Elizabeth. And uh, this site relating to a familiar school. It's been a pleasure. Thanks. I'll be on the search for more exquisite info. So we'll get to that in just a bit. There's also this lady right over here. Hmm, I feel a strange aura around you. In my mind, I see visions, people's pasts, presents, and futures. For most people, I see clearly and far ahead. But you are different. Your future is filled with both blinding light and stagnant shadow. I can see but a small portion. What lies beyond that is, a shroud is shrouded in mystery. What a peculiar fate you carry. Now, young man, bearer of light and shadow. If you wish to know more about the near future, come and talk to me. I'll share my limited visions with you. 
So yeah, you can talk to her and she'll give you a bit of help in Tartarus. Change within you, let me just provide you new fortune. Okay, the rarity fortune. That allows us to find rarer, um, rarer uh, shadows in Tartarus. Is there an easy way to check my quests without going back to Elizabeth? Oh, quest, it's right here. <laughs> uh, where was... Make use of the rarity fortune to increase the appearance of rare shadows. And that's what we're gonna go ahead and do here. I wanna know my fortune. It'll cost us 3,000 yen, but if we find enough rare shadows, we can probably make all of that back and then some. That is what you wish, it'll be 3,000 yen. You are sure this is what you want? Yes, please. Then let us begin. I see it. If you're if you go to the Tower of Shadow tonight, you're destined to face an adversary clad in gold. So yeah, now we f can find new rare shadows in Tartarus. Speaking of which, we are gonna head over to Tartarus right now. Uh, because we don't really have much we can do. I want to get more money so we can have an easier time doing stuff. Uh, like buying things such as the stuff at the Manga Cafe, as well as stat boosting stuff like social stats. So, what's up, Mitsuru? What's everyone's status? All right. Everyone can go tonight. Is there anything else? I was debating whether or not I wanted to go now, or if I wanted to wait until Akihiko heals up, because uh, having four people on our team will help out quite a bit, but we're still pretty early in the game, so it's not like we're going to be facing too much adversity, so might as well go now. Yes. Very well, let's meet at Tartarus around midnight. Don't be late. I'll let the others know. The High Priestess Tarot is reacting. So yeah, now we can find the High Priestess Arcana in Shuffle Time, which will help increase our all-out attack damage. I've been waiting for you. I've been waiting for you. May I have but a moment of your time? Marvelous. I must congratulate you on your recent victory. Your power continues to grow, it seems. On the topic of such power, I must ask, are you familiar with the Major Arcana? Uh, I am. To, utis to utilize metaphor, the Major Arcana are the parent plants which will help propagate your ever-growing garden of abilities. After defeating the particularly strong shadows, these Major Arcana will appear to you as cards. It would be in your best interest to collect these cards as you find them. Major Arcana. That's going to be a useful resource going forward. See, so yeah, I probably should have said that I didn't understand just so she'd explain it, but that's fine. Anyways, let's get to costumes real quick. Uh, we have our stat boosting stuff like weapons, armor, uh, and accessories, but we also just have outfits which have no actual real effect on your stats, but they just look cool. Like for example, instead of having the uniform and armband, we could just go into our usual winter uniform, which is just the same thing as before, but without the armband on it, and without the belt there. Uh, I think the one with the belt and the armband looks cooler, so I'll keep that on. But later on, we'll find outfits that are a lot cooler looking and will, um, and that I'll actually be wearing throughout the course of our journey. Do Yukari and Junpei have any? Junpei also has just his normal winter uniform, which also looks just normal, so we're swapping back. So thank you guys so much for watching. In the next episode, we're going to go ahead and try to do as many of these quests as we can. Uh, because we have to fight shadows, level up our persona, find different items, and retrieve the second old document. Which we retrieved the first old document when we reached the border floor, so hopefully this will be the exact same. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!